Is your anxiety causing depression? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where this week we are diving deep into the topic of depression. So do me a favor. We're gonna be talking about how anxiety causes depression. So I really, really, really would like you to share this video because I've had a lot of people, it's really weird because I thought this was like well known, but I've had a lot of people like say, hey, Anxiety and depression are two separate things, but no, 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 no. So please share this video and let's help educate some people out there. But it might also help somebody understand why they're going through depression because of their anxiety. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna teach you about is something called comorbidity, all right? This is when two, yes, two mental illnesses are present at the same time. And this is what we have to talk about when we're talking about how anxiety actually causes depression. So there are some studies out there, which I'll show right here, that talk about how many different forms of anxiety disorders actually cause depression and what the percentages of people with these anxiety disorders have depression, all right? so. Generalized anxiety disorder, up to 30% of those people have depression. People with PTSD, up to 10%. A specific phobia, so being afraid of a certain thing, up to 20% of those people have depression. Social phobia, so like a social anxiety, up to 30% of those people have depression. OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, up to 10% have depression. And then with panic disorder, up to 65% of those people have depression. So think about that for a second, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense why people with these types of anxiety disorders struggle with depression. For example, I am somebody who is diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder and I get bouts of depression. Like with my generalized anxiety disorder and not knowing when it's gonna come, not having like specific triggers and my brain just starts freaking out, like that can cause a lot of issues in my life. I, I get withdrawn, I don't wanna hang out with people, I don't wanna talk to people, like my brain is going a million miles a minute, I'm very agitated, so I start to isolate and I start to be alone by myself. And with these other disorders, like think about it, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, like I need to make some videos on that, but this is a very serious form of anxiety anxiety. Like without doing specific habits, your brain latches onto those things and you can't even like go and pursue a normal life without doing certain things. I was reading in this book, like this one guy, he, he couldn't go past his house without checking the mailbox like 15 times before going inside. And then sometimes even after he would get inside, he would be worried that he didn't check it. You know what I mean? Like OCD is very, very difficult to deal with. Now, when we talk about phobias and social disorders, so think about it. If you have a social anxiety disorder and can't go out and connect with people, lack of connection with other human beings is one of the biggest reasons for depression. So when you're isolating because you're afraid to go out in public, like that's huge, or specific phobias. So depending on what the phobia is, but let's talk about agoraphobia, a fear of going outside, right? This keeps you stuck and isolated inside of your house. This leads to depression. And I hope that makes sense. Like there's so many people struggling with anxiety, which then leads to depression, which causes comorbidity, all right? Now, the other thing I wanna talk about real quick is something I mentioned in another video, so I'm gonna touch on it briefly here, is how depression actually causes anxiety. So the short version of this is, Based on evolutionary psychology, based on the way that our ancestors evolved, anxiety is meant to keep you safe. Fight, flight, freeze, right? So the reason why anxiety comes when you're depressed is because it's the body's way of telling you that you need to go do something. So back in the prehistoric days with our ancestors, if you got separated from the tribe, your body would start freaking out and it would tell you like, hey, you need to go back and be around people. And that's why isolating leads to depression, which then leads to a lot of symptoms of anxiety, all right? So if you took nothing else away from this video, quit isolating, be around people, okay? Friends, family members, a little hack that I like to use is just go read a book at your favorite coffee shop. Being around other people helps you get out of your depression. Now, if you have social anxiety, I've done some videos on that, go check them out. But 
there are ways to overcome this thing, but please don't isolate, all right? And if you can relate to anything I talked about in this video, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let's uh, get a conversation going about how your anxiety causes depression, okay? But again, do me a favor and please share this video to spread some awareness and help people better understand how anxiety causes depression, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big thank you to all of the patrons right here. These are the people who are helping to support the channel and help, help my mission of spreading a message of hope and if you would like to support the channel for as little as one dollar click or top right there all right thanks so much for watching work on your anxiety and depression and i will see you next time